The Touch Portal application is like the Stream Deck on steroids if the steroids took steroids. Yeah. Touch Portal unlocks the true potential of any mobile device and turns them into a fully functional macro deck. With Touch Portal, plugins allow remote access to applications and tools that we use on our desktop. For instance, I use Touch Portal to control my music and virtually mix the audio sources on my computer. If you're watching this video and you're searching for a specific plugin, I have linked the timestamps in the description below, as well as a link to an article listing all of these plugins in order. If you're aware of a plugin that exists that I don't list in this video, please leave it in the comment section below so I can add it to the list in that article as quickly as possible. I've got a ton of plugins to get through, so let's get to it. The first plugin we will cover is the Discord plugin made by the plugin developer Spider-Man. With over 25,000 downloads, this plugin is made useful for streamers and gamers alike. The Discord plugin allows us to create deafen, hang up, and push to talk buttons for calls and voice channels. It also has a feature where you can navigate to a selected channel within a selected server, making navigation a little bit easier when you're traveling through Discord. The second most popular plugin on Touch Portal is for Spotify. This plugin features everything you would need for skipping, volume adjustments, shuffling, or even adding a song to a specific playlist. It comes packed with some pretty sweet events and button states that allow for incredible page designs. The page that I'm using is downloadable for free on Touch Portal's asset page for users of this plugin. The third plugin on this list is mostly used for utility. Windows Essentials gives you the ability to open and close applications as well as forcing focus on a specific window. Another outstanding development by Spider-Man is the Open Hardware Monitor plugin. This plugin is built to work with the open source app that will monitor temperature sensors, fan speeds, voltages, and load and clock speeds of a computer. It really makes it easy to monitor CPU usage and other computer hardware. The fifth plugin on this list I can't really show you because I don't own the SoundPad app, but the SoundPad plugin makes use of sound effects and vocal recordings with the SoundPad app incredibly easy. You can demo the SoundPad app or buy it for roughly $5. Many of you already use this next plugin and it comes in as the sixth most popular plugin for Touch Portal. That plugin is the Voice Meter Pickle Plus plugin. With the Voice Meter Pickle plugin, you can virtually do everything you need to do with Voice Meter at a touch of a button. I have created this Voice Meter page which can be downloaded from my website for free, which allows you to adjust the volume sources, toggle output options for each input source, and quickly mute or reset the volume for each source. Before we continue, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. My mission here is to create an inclusive, creative environment where creators feel welcome to grow, learn, and offer their feedback to others. Subscribe to this channel and like this video so that me and you can start creating better content together. Next up is the Voice Mod plugin. Voice Mod has over 2.5 million monthly users and has over 10 million monthly downloads, which makes this plugin extremely useful for the average user. The voice mod plugin features voice changing actions as well as actions for the setup of meme sounds. Using voice mod in tandem with touch portal calls for a really amazing streaming experience. I've made a video on setting up this plugin with Touch Portal. You should check it out. I will link it in the description below and put a little info card here on the screen for you. The Soundbox plugin is created natively for Touch Portal as a customizable soundboard for audio files and clips to be played from a selected output source on your computer. This is an absolutely great free alternative to other soundboard options out there. If you pay for the premium version of Touch Portal, which is $13, you can create a soundboard with up to 110 buttons on one page. The VLC media player is quite simple. If you use the VLC app, this plugin allows you to create buttons to play, pause, skip, 
or even start a playlist from the VLC application. The Steam Friend plugin is designed as a visual plugin, meaning it has no actions for buttons and instead has states that will display your friends online and offline statuses. Unlike the native OBS Studio functions on Touch Portal, the Streamlabs plugin unlocks the bonus abilities exclusive to Streamlabs OBS. It has actions for the jar, credit rolls, alert testing and pausing, as well as wheel spins. If you're a Streamlabs user, this is the plugin you will use for added functionality. The weather plugin makes it so you can monitor the weather of your location from your tablet. The problem with this plugin is that the API for it seems to be difficult to lock down because of the ever-changing systems online. And because of this, I never seem to get it to work. But maybe I'm doing something wrong, which kind of happens a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised. Similar to Spotify, the YouTube Music plugin enables the same features for YouTube Music. This is not to be confused used with the YouTube Music app that is provided by YouTube, but instead the YouTube Music desktop app from ytmdesktop.app app, which happens to be the one that I use. I've managed to use the page provided as an asset on Touch Portal and make it usable for my needs. The Speed Test plugin uses the API built for Touch Portal with speedtest.net. This allows you to quickly check your internet speeds. With a window mover plugin, you can quickly maximize, minimize, restore, focus, close, or resize windows. As the name states, the Time Zones plugin will display the local times from around the world. The Govi plugin works with certain models of Govee lights. The light models that this plugin works with can be found in the summary section of the GitHub page of this plugin. The Windows Tools plugin gives you control of your audio output and input sources, volume increases and decreases, as well as some basic mouse functions. If you're an iTunes user, this plugin will take control of all the necessary tools like play, pause, skip, shuffle, and repeat. Keep in mind that this plugin only works with Windows 10 64-bit systems and has no guarantee of working elsewhere. Apple can also change their COM interface at any time requiring this plugin to be adjusted. The Minecraft Stats plugin will display important information about your Minecraft server, including the server online status, the server description, number of players, and even the server address. The Google Play slash YouTube Music plugin is made for a different version of the YouTube Music application. This version of the application can be downloaded from Google Play Music Desktop Player.com. It will first download as a Google Play app and then reinitialize for YouTube Music. Big downside of this app is that it doesn't work on Mac right now. VMix is a live streaming software that will offer professional mixing, switching, and recording. VMix makes it easy to manage multiple sources within a live stream to create a professional production. This plugin features input previews, audio states, and volume adjustments. The next four plugins can all be grouped together. Corsair IQ devices, LifeX smart lights, Magic Home devices, and Yi Light devices are all integrated into Touch Portal with plugins. Music B makes it easy to manage and play music files from your computer. Music B also supports podcasts, web radio stations, and SoundCloud integration. The Music B plugin features typical music applications features such as pause, play, skip, and volume controls. You can control the Clownfish voice changer directly from Touch Portal. With this plugin, you can change your voice, add sound effects, play an audio file, or even use text-to-speech. If you're a Trovo live streamer, you can use the Trovo plugin to make channel updates, send chat messages, or display states such as your latest follower. Restream users can use the Restream plugin to set the title of their stream as well as displaying messages from each of the platforms they're streaming to. The Advanced Hold plugin provides advanced key holding features. This plugin is for controlling smart devices that are connected to smart things. It features lighting and dimmer controls, outlets and plugs, door locks, thermostat functions, as well as sensors states. Among a variety of different features, this plugin is perfect if you're using smart devices with smart things. Conversions is a plugin for converting files and data into selected units of measurement. Logitech Keys is designed to integrate with Logitech gaming devices. The main purpose of this plugin is to display the key mappings that you have set for your devices. The StreamerBot plugin will execute actions or advanced actions you have set up with StreamerBot. StreamerBot connects with multiple platforms and tools 
tools that allows you to create an even more advanced stream. The Stream Raiders plugin lets you start battles, adjust the music volumes, and a variety of different functions while you're playing the game. Natatmo makes smart home weather devices that help you lead a healthier life. With the Natatmo plugin, you can set your homeroom temperatures, set modes, and set schedules of your Natatmo system. If you're a FUBAR2000 user, there's a plugin just for you. Otherwise, you probably really don't care what FUBAR is. Lumia Stream has two plugins for Touch Portal. One is for Windows and one is for Mac. Lumia Stream devices are controlled by your channel's audience. Integrating your Lumia Stream devices with Touch Portal gives you even more control to elevate your stream and take it to the next level. Heartrate.io is an app that displays your current heart rate on stream. With Touch Portal, you can elevate your hype rate experience by creating cool integrations and events based on your heart rate. DCS or Digital Combat Simulator also has a plugin for Touch Portal. This is great for displaying parameters that are important to you while in flight. The calculator plugin is quite literally a calculator on Touch Portal. There's a pretty sweet asset page made for this plugin. You can find it on the Touch Portal assets. Elgato Key Light users can adjust the temperature of their light, the brightness of their light, as well as turn on or off their light with the Elgato Key Light plugin. Razer Chroma is another light based plugin Plugin. This allows you to set effects or turn them off for your Razer Chroma devices. The OBS Extended plugin adds additional features not included in the default actions for OBS on Touch Portal. This plugin adds things like scene visibility, source filter properties, browser source controls, and much more. The MIDI Beta plugin is currently in beta as the name states, but it grants you access to MIDI commands for your MIDI devices. Ecamm Live is yet another live streaming platform similar to OBS, yet I just suggest you stick with OBS, but it does have a plugin with Touch Portal if you're an Ecamm Live user. The last plugin on this list is for the game Elite Dangerous. The Elite Dangerous plugin has a large amount of events and states to enhance your gaming experience. We didn't quite hit 50 plugins, we stopped right at 49, which is unfortunate, but damn! There are a ton of plugins for Touch Portal. If you enjoyed this video, give that like button a click and subscribe to this channel for future content. Thanks again for watching. Bye.